How many of you know that you shall get home someday? Right here in Gospel Praise Celebration, the music that we play on this station truly inspires the world. It inspires Simone Malone, and I know that it touches you. This is real gospel with real harmony and real groove. So glad you're listening in. And for those of you that are checking me out on Facebook and my YouTube channel called Trusted Voice and Radio, make sure you write that down. Make sure you save it on YouTube, Trusted Voice and Radio. You can go back and watch all of my interviews, my excerpts of the inspirational moment. Today, I want to talk about fear of rejection. Wow. We're already into getting ready to go into the third week of uh, the new year and so many folks are feeling rejected but you know what god is able to keep you when you feel that way being rejected is one of the greatest fears people have am i right about it and i know that this word in these moments are touching you right now because it's timely and it speaks volumes to where we are being rejected is one of the greatest fears people have. Being orchestra, being isolated, I would say, and unloved are frightening to us because we need love to survive. How many of you want to be loved? I want to be loved. Don't you want to be loved? And if you're in a loving relationship and somebody tells you that they love you, you better trust them on that word. However, we shouldn't allow our fear of rejection to drive us into unhealthy or dishonest situations. How many of you are know of people, or maybe you might be the one I'm talking to, that's in a dishonest situation? When we are afraid of being rejected, we may try to hide our true selves and become what we think others want us to be. So many people don't really know who they are. They're still trying to find out who they are. And I'm going to pray for you that God will help you to find your true self. We've adjusted people in our lives that we don't really want to be there. We've adjusted people who don't really want us to be there in our lives. They are attracted to what is genuine within us. If you have some genuinity in you, and that's what they will be attracted to, right? Along with some other things. Some folks are attracted to us for physical reasons. Uh huh. Most of the time, that's what it is because you don't even know them. Uh oh. What's the antidote for this fear that depletes self esteem and poisons relationships? So many people I talk to, they say, Simone, I'm dating or I'm looking for a date. Let me tell you something. And Debrina Jackson Gandy can back it up. She's been on my show. Dating is a disaster. It's about courtship, and people need to go back to courtship in a spiritual way. If you are a Christian, ask God to help you to get into courtship. No dating. It's a disaster, folks. I've experienced it, and I'm sure some of you have experienced it. The cure for fear of rejection is to love and be true to yourself and stop uh, the repressing emotions and opinions in order to be accepted. Some of us just let folks say stuff to us to be accepted and believe it. It's not always good to do that. We can't lose when we are being true to ourselves. If honesty and sincerity cause us to lose some friends, so be it. Mm Mm-hmm. If honesty and sincerity cause us to lose some friends, just be it. We will have the satisfaction of personal integrity and the knowledge that the people who are with us will love us for who we really are. How many times do I talk to folks? I was in a conversation the other day. They say, I just want somebody to love me for who I am. Well, the question is, do you know who you are? Can you articulate that to the individual? Uh Uh-huh. That's worth more than all the fair-weather friends in the world. There's a lot of fair-weather friends out there, and the folks call themselves Christians, and and they they say that, you know, I love you, I care about you, but they don't even communicate with you. Uh Uh-huh. Fear of rejection. Being rejected by others isn't the worst that can happen to us, but it will be far worse to reject ourselves. Folks, don't go into 2012 rejecting yourself. You can reject somebody else, but don't reject yourself. Yourself, it's not a good thing. Remember, I am afraid of rejection. It's something that we all deal with. Don't you get afraid of rejection? Uh huh. 
I know the rewards that come with me being true to myself. So be true to yourself in every aspect of your life. Let's touch and agree on it. Father God, I thank you for this inspirational moment on fear of rejection. Lord, I ask you to go through Facebook. I ask you to go through the YouTube channel and deal with somebody's spirit this morning that's feeling rejected. It's not a good thing. And Lord, I ask you to encourage them and inspire their heart and just hug them, God, in the spirit and let them know that you love them when they feel unloved, God. Help our people, God, that are exploring opportunities for their life, for a relationship, that they will meet the person that you want them to have, God, that they will love them and adore them and cherish them and be who they really are. We thank you, God, that somebody right now is being lifted through this motivation that they've been dealing with rejection and they don't know what to do. Oh, God, somebody is depressed today, but we ask you to inspire their hearts. Satan, get out of the minds of our people because they have a job to do for you and they want to feel better about themselves for 2012. We thank you for this word, God, that it's blessing, it's keeping us, and it's going to help us to be more proactive. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe God with me, you can just slip your hands right there and say amen. Man, if you enjoyed the inspiration of the moment, take a moment. I want you to talk to me. I want you to stay in the know. That's why I bring it to you fresh and first. Inbox me, email me at psalmbookagospel at hdms.net. That's psalmbookagospel at hdms.net. And there you have it, the inspirational moment, the word of motivation for today. Fear of rejection. It's got to go. Right here on Digital 1 FM, HDMS.